Hello and welcome back to the reading vlog. Um, I'm sorry, I look really... I look as hot as I am, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just filmed Thursday's video, which is um, why I'm looking a little bit more put together, you know. But it is incredibly hot. Um, but I did want to start the vlog. I probably will not read anything today. It's already late in the afternoon. Um, and it's just way too warm. My, my brain can't function today. I... <sighs> I have so many bloopers from today's video, it's it's horrible. Like, not funny ones, just like my brain not working. Uh, but I still wanted to give you an update because it did continue with um, the passage yesterday on Sunday. Um, if you <laughs> haven't seen last week's vlog, you will have to go back and watch that because I talk about um, the book there, but yeah. Um, I'm still not happier with the book, it's still a lot of like... Um, but now the... The 12 are there again and they are pretty heavily influencing the people in the settlement, so stuff is going wrong there. And also they now found out that the um, chip Annie had in her neck um, was sending... Well, they connected to a frequency where the she originally was held as a child. And they are still sending the message out, if you find her, please bring her back. Which I have no idea how they thought people could read that, but you know, they found the message. And so, yeah, our main character, Peter, at the moment our main character, Peter, is now um, probably taking Amy. Maybe also Alicia, which is one of the other characters. Um, he has a crush on her, I think. Um, but yeah, probably her as well, out of the settlement, and I guess they will try to get back to the military facility, because they are now thinking that maybe Amy might be the cure, which she might be, we have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully once we're out of the settlement, the story will get better again. I just really dislike the whole settlement section, which is really sad, you know, but I'm now at page... 620 so we have like 360 pages left um so my plan is to finish this come wednesday that is the plan so we will have to read a lot tomorrow but um yeah i have good hopes i don't hate the book i don't dislike the book it's just that i would have wished it would have been better so yeah but that is pretty much how far i am with that mm. and yeah I hope wherever you live it's not as warm. I mean it's not even that warm, we have like 32 degrees, which for Germany it is really warm um, and normally it isn't that long and that warm, you know, so that is why I, what I hate. You know, I'm not good with this weather. My brain isn't functioning in the heat, you know, and obviously we don't have like ACs or stuff like that because in Germany that's just not normal. Um, so yeah. Great. <laughs> I will now go do a little bit of like, you know, brainless gaming and I will see you tomorrow with a big reading update. Promised this time. It is evening as you can see. Um, let's do a quick check in before my um, groceries arrive. <sighs> I did finish reading this book. Uh, not now, but you know, back then when I bought it. Um, it's, it's so interesting. I don't remember the middle of the book. I remember the first 300 pages and, as it seems, the last 300 pages. But the 400, like 350 in between, I did not remember because they were so incredibly boring. I hated them. Um, thankfully, the book picks up at some point and um, our group, like eight people from the colony, um, flee. And um, they make their way slowly to the... Um, but to the military compound where the experiments were done back in the day and um, they get to Las Vegas and there they get um, swooped up by um, a different colony, um, Haven, it's called, or New Haven it's called, and um, yeah, something doesn't seem to be right there um, because that's actually where Babok is, one of the 12 original jumpers. And um, yeah, he has this thing really in his grip and uh, there only seem to be women and children there, all female. And yeah, he's it's kind of a breeding facility for humans, kind of. And um, yeah, then the humans seem to be fed to the jumpers. Um, so yeah, they actually find some people there that also want to escape and I'm at that point now. And that is actually a point I remember again. So I... 
I, I did have to have finished the book. Like, there, there's no chance that I haven't finished it. I definitely finished it. And I think the stuff I found um, in the beginning of the book was reread I already attempted. And then um, once I came to, like, the boring pages, I obviously stopped. And so I didn't remember the boring pages because they are so bad. I don't get the middle of the book. It's, it's really not my taste, the middle of the book. But the beginning was really, really great. And the ending does really pick up again. Um, so I'm now at page 740. So I have 230 pages left. Um, my goal is to get to page 800 today still. Um, even though it's already late, I will try to get to 800. We'll see. Um, so that I have only like 160 or something left for tomorrow because I do have to do quite a few things tomorrow like I have a very very busy day tomorrow so I don't want to have over 200 pages left but I want to finish this book by tomorrow um, because obviously I already spent a whole week reading it and so yeah I want to finish it so I can read another book as well this week um, so yeah we'll see how this goes um, and then I also started a new audiobook um, about conspiracy theories. It's really interesting. It's um, like in general about like flat earthers and stuff. How, um, but it's it's primarily about flat earthers, but it's also about in general how these theories stick, why people believe in them, what strengthens the belief, and stuff like that. So that that is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, I will, well, I will continue with that one tomorrow, probably, if I have time in the evening, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan at the moment. Um, and yeah, I don't know, hopefully I will um, get a little bit further in this one today. But to be honest, I'm, it is so long that I'm kind of over it by now, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I will still at some point get the next ones. Think. I'm not so sure anymore, you know, I do want to know how the series continues, but I don't know if I want to buy them So I might see if I can get them from my library yet. But yeah, we'll see how it goes And yeah, I also started editing Thursday's video. I have to continue that tomorrow um, So yeah, I just didn't have the mind for it today because it's still so warm here tomorrow Thankfully, it's supposed to be only 22 degrees and it's supposed to rain so yeah, that would be really, really nice. But um, yeah, I have to stop this update now before my groceries come. Um, I started ordering them again because going to the supermarket at the moment, it's a, it's a struggle. I'm still not fit with my stomach. I have an appointment, but it's only at the end of November for some tests. They're hard to get those appointments because so many people need them in today's times. Um, so yeah, I have to wait till the end of November to get that test and then to, you know, talk about what we can do depending on the results of that test. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, and I just will have to live with how it is at the moment till then. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm, I mean, I'm doing better than I have for a lot of this year, <laughs> but I'm still not doing 100% fine, you know. Um, but yeah, so... I will continue reading now and I will check in with you tomorrow once I've finished this book to tell you how I like the ending because I don't remember everything It's coming back, you know, by reading it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, excuse the look, it's a cleaning day here. But <laughs> it is Wednesday and I just finished the passage, just as I promised myself. I did um, read to page 800 yesterday. Um, I did read like, you know, a little bit in bed and stuff, so that I was at least at 800, and so I finished the last 180 pages today, which, oh my god, um, I loved the ending, um, I'm so sad, you know, kind of, I, I, I gave it three and a half stars, overall, I still like the book, because I like the concept of the story, I like the story, I like the beginning, I like the ending, it's just the middle, it's a, the middle is so damn bad, that it really hurts me. I don't know why the author did that. In the beginning, the first 300 pages, we really, you know, built this bond with, with Wolgast and Lacey and Amy and, you know, we have all of that story in the first 300 pages. And then you get like three, 400 pages of like strangers. And then with a few of them, you start at some point to build a little bit of a relationship. And those 
then bring you to the end and over into the next book. Not all of them, obviously, there's a lot of like death in this book. But yeah, so I don't get why our story didn't begin like at the end of those 90 years and we would have gotten flashbacks to the other people before that because of those 90 years that we just glance over and get like a little bit of backstory from a few characters but not enough that we care about anyone. I just think those pages are so badly done. I think the way the story is told at that point is just really really badly done and it hurts the story because obviously you don't have a relationship with them, you miss the people you had the relationship with before, some of them don't ever come back, all of that stuff, you know. So yeah, I'm disappointed at that fact that it just didn't work out. But then I think we have to give the author grace because obviously he tried something and I just personally didn't like it. That being said, I definitely want to buy part two and read that because now I'm really interested to see where we're going. I know I did spoil pretty much the whole book. Um, I won't spoil you the ending. <laughs> Just so though, if you want to know, you know, you have to read it up or go and, um, you know, read the book yourself. Just like do some speed reading for the middle part. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really, really warm. <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking like it, but I was just uh, cleaning my bathroom, so um, yeah, that's the look you get with me right now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I like the ending, I like the beginning, the better part, you know. I would just say let's ignore it, but this book is way too big, so the middle part is way too big as that we could ignore it. So yeah, I'm kind of sad about that, but I will continue with it because it did... Well, I'm interested to see how the rest of the series is going. Um, I mean, you can pretty much... Pre you know, prepare for the ending of the whole series, you pretty much know what will happen. It's really not that hard to figure out, but I would love to see the story because some of this, like these journey pieces were really, really interesting. Some things just really didn't add up, you know, some things were just weird without explanations that I found to be in any way feasible for the story, so yeah. But I finished it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. It just took me out one and a half weeks to finish that um, which is pretty fucking long but whatever you know we're 980 pages so it was a lot to read um so yeah let me quickly show you which book i will read next and then yeah, i'm waiting for a package um with my yarn so i can continue my um i think it's called a shrug you know those sweaters that just have arms and then go like this um, I always wanted one of those, so I'm crocheting myself one of those, but I only have one arm finished and then I didn't have enough yarn, so I had to order some, which is supposed to come in like half an hour or so, so that I can continue with that. But yeah, let me show you the book I will pick up next. Um, I needed a little bit of like something else, something not so long, and because I do have a few also longer books on my TBR, I'm gonna read this one now. Um, and this is Along Came a Spider, the first... How is the name of the main character? Alex Cross. It's the first novel in the Alex Cross series. Um, so yeah, I will start a new detective series because as far as I know, yeah, he's a homicide detective. Um, so yeah, that is the next book I will pick up. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. <laughs> I have a lot of the series, so hopefully I will like it. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad to say it's only 500 pages. <laughs> Which is still so much, but only half of what I've read uh, last week. Well last book you know um, but yeah so we'll see how this will uh, we go I will start this tomorrow probably um, and yeah we see how it goes and yeah I will look a little bit fresh tomorrow <laughs> at my chicken so yeah I will see you then <laughs> along came a spider um, sorry for the awkward angle but um, the dog is sleeping on my lap so what can I do right um, <laughs> it's so funny because to be honest a character that is named Alex Cross kind of in my mind was like the typical 
white middle-aged detective you know turns out he's not white and also not the typical detective he actually has um, is a doctor in um, psychology and yeah he is black and he lives in the the suburb where mostly black people live of of dc um so yeah so that is already obviously a completely different setup than what to be honest most of the detective novels that i've come across are um i do think it was a little bit over the top at the beginning but I think it also like kind of makes a point, so it's kind of fine. Um, it begins with him, kind of like having the case of a serial killer who murders families, in the poorer part of town, and the family he is currently working on is um two adults, and I th- think one child. No, no, one mother, a daughter of fourteen, and a child of I think three or four. Um, obviously also black. And, um, yeah, he is pretty much doing the investigation and then two white kids get kidnapped from, like, this prep school for, like, incredibly rich people, you know? And, yeah, he is then forcibly removed from the other case and moved to the kidnapping case. And he is angry about that. And that is understandable, you know? Obviously, he's like, yeah, you could tell somebody else to work on the kidnapping case. Um, So that I can understand. What I cannot understand is I was always under the impression that obviously if there's a kidnapping that that has kind of a higher priority because you assume that the victims still live and obviously a living victim has kind of a little bit of a higher priority than a dead victim. You know, not that there, you know, there, there isn't, it's not that they are worth more. It's just that you obviously could have the hope that you can get them back alive and obviously for the first family that isn't possible anymore so i found that to be a little bit like i mean i I get the the problematic thing you know that he is obviously really like oh they don't care for us black people and that is true in a lot of places in the united states you know it is a big problem but i still think that his reaction wasn't like a really big overreaction because obviously those two kids are still alive or hopefully still alive and he starts out by doing a really bad job and being like really like pouting and you know being like really uh i don't want to do this and being angry and not really doing his job which i think is like a really bad thing kind of you know why wouldn't he do his job still i mean i get that he's angry but you have to do your job you know at the end of the day and yeah then we come to a point that's just like from one chapter to the other, he's on course with the kidnapping. And he, he's totally on and he doesn't... The, what I would have wished for would have been to see a transition. You know, his realization of like, oh, those two children are still living and obviously I have to I care for them. Um, so yeah, I don't really get that. It's, I don't know, it's it's a really weird thing. Other than that, um, I do like the book. And it's interesting, we um, are now doing the kidnapping case, one of the children sadly is already dead, and the other one is still held by the perpetrator, and as it seems, we get the perspective of a lot of different people, and one of them is the perpetrator, and he kind of like narrates a little bit, and he kind of tells us that he has already killed like over 200 people, and he's like a real pro and stuff, so um, yeah, he's a real psycho. He actually um, buried a child alive uh, when he was a child himself, I think, or like um, a teenager or something like that. So yeah, it's it's really like hefty. Um, but yeah, I, other than that, I really do enjoy that. I think it's a nice different perspective. Um, but yeah, so I'm really interested to continue with this. I'm 100 pages in now. Um, I think the case is really interesting and so yeah i'm looking forward to continuing reading this um hopefully tomorrow i can get like i don't know 200 300 pages done that would be great i mean ideally i would finish this tomorrow but i haven't the highest hopes and um, because i still have like 400 pages left and let's be honest i rarely read 400 pages in a day <laughs> um but yeah so i will now 
do a little bit more snuggling with the dog and then I am nearly finished with one of my crochet projects so I want to finish that and I will do that in a minute and yeah it's Friday I finished work for the week which is nice and it's like a really nice day out and yeah probably we'll do a little bit of gaming as well we'll see I will see you with the next reading up good morning it is Saturday morning and <laughs> believe it or not I already finished a long came a spider wait let me close the blinds <clears throat> yeah so sometimes sometimes I have some trouble sleeping so I'm up since two this morning because I just couldn't sleep anymore so I finished all 400 pages before eight o'clock <laughs> which is a little well even before like seven o'clock I think I finished at like 6 15 or something like that so yeah I finished the book I thought I would never finish today and sadly it's bad <laughs> It's, I don't know how this book has so many incredibly good reviews. I looked on Goodreads and it has 4.19 stars. So it's actually kind of really good when it comes to um, reviews. But I found some which would I wholeheartedly agree. Um, I liked the beginning of the book. I liked the setup of the story, but in actuality everything is really, really obvious. There isn't a mystery, it's pretty obvious from the beginning and the main criminal and the detective get like painted as these, these like geniuses when it comes to psychology and stuff like that but they are so dumb and they are really naive kind of and things are happening which really doesn't make, don't make sense. The main criminal kind of plays off of the multiple personality disorder trope which he isn't the first one and we have a lot of true crime cases in which people try that as well but it's so obvious that it's not that th the case um, for example he his family he has a family and he th they think he's um, hired by but he is actually hired by the brother of his wife um, to work for like a sales company like you know dot dot, dot sales but he actually works for three three years in a school to kidnap kidnap these children and he's really bad at his daughter door sales job because obviously he doesn't do it um and yeah he everyone in the case knows this once they catch him and they are still going after the like multiple personality route even though they know he lived two lives which means obviously he did that all with full responsibility you know it's really dumb it's really really dumb the judges are really, really dumb. He gets out of prison multiple times for like really dumb thing. Somehow everybody works for him. He knows everybody. Everybody's friends with him. It, it's it's really, really bad, you know. Um, so yeah, I liked the beginning. I hated the rest. <laughs> I don't think it's a good book. Um, I read though that they are supposed to get better with time, which I kind of relative to say if this has some such good reviews in the first place but yeah I obviously own a lot of uh, quite a few of the rest of the series I think um, so I will continue with the series because I own them anyway but yeah I gave it two stars I'm not impressed um, I don't know I don't think that it's a problem that the author is white and his main character is black obviously I cannot tell how goodly that is written to be honest <laughs> I mean I have no idea about that um, but I personally also don't have problems with guys writing girls and the other way around I think that's kind of the trade of an author to be able to write characters that aren't themselves otherwise all books would be seven thirds of the author so yeah I don't think that is a problem as much as I don't know I I think it's just really weird. I mean, it, it talks about some problems we have in the real world, which I found kind of good, but then the story was so dumb <laughs> and so obvious and I don't know, I was really angry at a lot of the characters at times because it was so obviously. And then you have a forced romance in there and the girl turns out to be, you know, an agent for the other side, but yeah, she she feels really bad about it in the end, and she's so sorry, and it's such a dumb thing. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 
impressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, really not impressed. Um, but yeah, two, two stars. I finished it <laughs> way faster than I thought I would. Um, simply because I was up so early. But yeah, let's pick up the next book and hopefully that one will be better. I'm think thinking I have four books still on my TBR. Um, realistically, I will not finish all four because one of them is Words of Radiance. But I'm still too afraid to start this, if I'm honest. So maybe let's go with the sci-fi. Yeah, I think I will go with the sci-fi book, um, and that is Der Das Mutanten Corpse. The Mutant Corpse, I think, would be the English translation by Perry Roden, German sci-fi author, or like a lot of authors, Perry Roden is actually the character. Um, these are like comp compendiums of all of the stories that were published in journals. And yeah, they were all put into these um, companion compendium books is that the right word for it these collections um, of stories and yeah it's a really classical sci-fi humanity meets aliens and humanity behaves like shit because we're humanity <laughs> and that is kind of a lot of the time how it is but yeah i will start this one either today or tomorrow we'll see i probably nah, realistically i won't start it today because i'm up already for so many hours and i'm pretty sure once midday comes around I will be incredibly tired um, so yeah I don't know how much reading I will realistically do um, but yeah this is the next one I will start and I did also continue yesterday with my audiobook which is off the cliff um, about um, conspiracy theories flat earthers and stuff like that really interesting book I really like it but I'm still not through. I'm like, I don't know, 60, 70% through. So yeah, for my final opinion on that one, you will have to come back next week's vlog. Okay, so let's end this vlog. I quickly wanted to show you, this is the closing piece I crocheted. I think it's called a shrug. <laughs> I'm not so sure to be honest. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's a little bit snugger than I would have liked. I would have liked it to be a little bit looser. But to be honest, it's my first clothing piece I've ever crocheted. I mean, the only other thing I ever crocheted, like, clothing-wise, really is this hat, which kind of fits. But, um, yeah, this is the first thing that, that you know, has shape and um, <laughs> more than just one stitch, you know. And, yeah, I think it turned out kind of cool. Um, I hate... But sometimes, even though I am wearing only like a crop top here, I would love to have my arms covered. So I think for that, this works really, really well. And yeah, I like the look. Um, if I make another one of these, I will probably make it a lot looser. I mean, down here the arms are loose. But um, yeah, up here it's a little bit um, digging into my arms. But yeah, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> so I wanted to show it off. Um, because I do kind of love showing well, my hobbies, you know, and it's a new hobby and I love it. I really like doing it. It took me, I think, two weeks to do this. Obviously, I don't have that much time to do it because with work and reading and all of that stuff, you know, um, there isn't that much time in the day left. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like it. Um, it's way too warm to wear it, so I'll take it off in a minute. But um, yeah. <laughs> Let's end this vlog here. I haven't read anything else yet um, today and I probably won't, let's be honest. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this week's vlog and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!